Warning, you absolutely should try everything you're about to see at home. Safely! We live in a free country where we can do so many fun, amazing things. Yet despite this, I've come to the awful realization that most people disregard 99% of choices they could possibly make and live their lives doing the same 1% of things almost daily. The current pandemic has inspired me to break out of this daily routine and to try new things. New foods, new hobbies, new ways to do daily things, and I want to share this journey with you. Welcome to Life Labs, where every day is a new experiment. My first experiment will be to start a new YouTube channel. Now it's not my first channel, but maybe this one will actually have a modicum of success. Fourth time's the charm. Now when was the last time you tried something new? Perhaps you went on a vacation to some faraway country like India or Florida and tried the local cuisine there. But otherwise, every week you go to the same grocery store and make a meal you've already had a hundred times. Now I challenge both of us to break out of that loop and try something new today. As it just so happens, I have uh, a few things prepared. I had the idea for this video when I stopped by Aldi the other day. Aldi is the type of store where you run in to grab some ingredients like some milk and some eggs, and you always end up leaving with some German food as well, like I got some Spätzle. Um, I won't be eating that today because, I mean, it's, it's Spätzle, everyone loves Spätzle, that's not that interesting. Now, I also grabbed some Austrian mustard. Now, maybe I'm not in good company when I say this, but I never liked mustard. Uh, you know, when I grew up we had this uh, brown mustard, I never really liked it, and this neon yellow uh, hot dog mustard that also just, I don't know. But I've never had Austrian beer mustard, so what better way to try it than with a warm pretzel. And of course, I paused the video in order to get this plastic thingy off the top, and I forget to restart it to record me actually eating it. Darn. Well, here goes again. Spoiler alert, I didn't really like it. Yeah. So, okay. It tastes quite mustardy. It's got, um, you know, you, you can, the beer definitely comes through, so if, if you like mustard, if you like brown mustard, I bet you, you will like this. It's, I'm just not a fan of brown mustard. I am a fan of warm, soft pretzels, though, so that made up for it. So look, here's an easy way to try something new. Go to the grocery store, go to the beverage aisle, and just steer clear of the Coca-Colas and your Gatorades. Because I want to try something I've never had before. Have you ever had cheer wine? Neither have I. I don't even know what it is, but they didn't ask me for an ID to buy it, so the last half of the name is already a lie. Let's hope the first half of the name isn't a lie as well. Tastes like cherry coke. Or, or maybe like grenadine? Okay. Okay, it's like, it's like a cherry coke or maybe like coke with grenadine type situation going on. Yeah. Hey, I like it. Give it a try, it's not bad. Recuerdas la clase de español en la escuela? Yeah, I forgot most of what I learned as well. But for some weird reason, I remember this one Paraguayan drink called yerba mate, which became popular among the Paraguayan settlers way back when. That said, I hope the flavor doesn't make me also want to declare war on all of my neighbors. Ooh. It's like a... Instantly, it's like a lemon iced tea sort of soda. What's in here? Hmm. Wow. 
It's different. I like it. Yeah. Try it. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up as well. Alright, so sticking with the Latino theme, um... Well, I've definitely had Haritos before, and if you've been to any good taco place, so have you, but... You probably stuck with the orange, or the pineapple. Um, I got tamarind, and not only have I never had tamarind before, I don't even know what it is. So... Let's find out. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. It's like orange, but worse. Yeah, no, um... You know, can't luck out on all of them. This is one where, uh... You know, I, n I never regret trying it, but... I probably won't get it again. Quite honestly, it's, um... Yeah, orange, but worse. That's how I would describe it. So despite my shock that a Haritos drink can be bad, uh... You know what can never be good? Drinking vinegar. Have you ever drank straight vinegar? Ew. Terrible idea. Absolutely disgusting. But, I found a drink that prides itself on being based on apple cider vinegar. Um... I think the berries and hibiscus are supposed to, like, tune down the acrid taste of acid that's present in vinegar. Give that a go. Ooh, hey. Yeah? Okay. It's not bad. It's not good. It's got that... It. You can still... You can still feel the bite of the vinegar, but... Also, it's like... Grape and hibiscus juice. It's like... It's, yeah, again, I, I would I would just, like, put it in the same ca category as Haritos, but, see, Haritos, I was expecting it to be great, and then it was like, eh, this one, I was like, apple cider vinegar, how could that possibly be good? Like, the only reason I even bought this was because it's like, look, th there's this old couple here, it's like, they know something, they, th they put apple cider vinegar in here knowing something, and I feel like... It might be an acquired taste. Some people might genuinely like this. I think I might genuinely like this if they had like a um, lemonade situation going on. You know, it's like apple cider vinegar with sugar and, you know, and, and it's just like, yeah, like apple lemonade. Now, what's interesting is that this drink is only 40 calories per bottle. Which, a lot of these are much higher, like 200 calories per bottle. Um, now, if you look at the ingredients, it actually has organic monk fruit and stevia extract. It's a low-calorie sweetener, which can replace sucrose, which is table sugar, in some drinks. Now, there are other sweeteners as well, such as saccharin or aspartame. And these are much sweeter than sugar. So here I have a packet of sucralose. You might know it by the brand name Splenda. So how am I eating a whole spoonful? Well, you see, this is not pure sucralose. It's, if you ever buy Splenda or something, it's little bit of sucralose with a whole lot of just white fluff. But what if you could try one of these sweeteners undiluted? Well, I have here some pure stevia and some pure sucralose. Let's give them a try. Just a tiny bit. That's all you need. Ooh. Oh! Oh! That was way too much. Oh! Another thing I should another thing I should mention is some people find different ones of these um, a little more uh, bitter 
or a little more tasting like actual sugar. For some people, stevia tastes basically like real sugar. For me, it also, like, it tastes super, super sweet, but also it has like a bitter aftertaste to it, and I don't like that at all. Now, I've tried all of these in the past already, like, you know, because this, this video series isn't the first time, I think, to try different things, but I already know that um, sucralose is the one I feel tastes the most like actual sugar and the least just bitter, but I have never in my life tried pure sucralose. As you can see, I'm opening the bag up for the first time for this video. I swear I did not try this before. Whew. Let's just try a little bit off the top. Oh, still a little bit of stevia left there. Now this is 600 times sweeter than sugar. That's like twice as sweet as this. So very little, like on the very tip of my spoon, that's maybe even too much. I might have the same reaction again, but wow. Wow. It's like, it doesn't have that bitter aftertaste. It's just like, Oh my gosh, my mouth is just full of sugar. I love it. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Um, I'm going to be putting in like half a teaspoon of this into like a whole gallon of iced tea just to have a sweetened iced tea and uh, not have the calories, but wow. That is sweet and delicious. Mm. A little bit left on my on my lips. Mm. Let's face it, in an American grocery store you're pretty limited on what food is weird. Like, alright, so you go into the international section, what's in there? Mango salsa, tikka masala sauce. If you want something truly exotic, you go to an international store where when you ask the owner a question they have to call over their young son to speak English with you. And I did just that. Now, I could go down the lame road of just trying whatever the Chinese or stroming is and then just like laughing at haha your your culture's food is gross but I don't want to just try gross food and then you laugh and then never actually wanna bother going out and trying this food for yourself because why would you want to try disgusting Asian food so uh, let's start with something that I bet is gonna be awesome because I'm looking for a hidden gem so Let's start with Chinese Lay's. Now, uh, there were so many flavors. Lime, crayfish, hot pot, grilled pork, cucumber. Um, I went with white rabbit just because I don't know what white rabbit is. It looks like it might be like, uh, some sort of candy. Maybe it's a candy that's popular in China. Speaking of the front, um, I didn't notice this until after I bought it, but uh, if you look over here, um, I swear <laughs> that's actually what's on the packaging and that that's just how the Chinese depict themselves, okay? So just, I mean, it's, it's whatever. Ooh. It smells chocolate. I, I think I think white rabbit might actually be like a chocolate candy of some sort. Yeah, I don't care if I'm opening it weird. I'm probably gonna eat all this right after the video. Hmm. Oh. Oh, hold on. Okay, so white rabbit is like a um, chocolate candy. Um, I don't hate it. It's interesting. It's like, um, yeah, I mean, you know, potato chips covered in chocolate. That's pretty good. Um, this is a little bit different, but I don't hate it. It's actually really not bad. I... Don't know if I'll buy it again, but I, I want to try, I, I definitely want to, if I ever do this again, I want to try out some of the other flavors, like, uh, I, I want to try the hot pot. That sounds delicious. 
Now, of course, there were some interesting drinks in the uh, Asian store as well. I uh, I didn't want to just buy a whole bunch of them because, you know, there's like a whole bunch of like bubble teas, teas with milk, milk infused with fruit, and I've had some of them before. I bet you a lot of them are delicious. You know, just if you go there and you're just like, I don't know what to get, just get get yourself some like mango milk or like bubble tea with milk. Like, it's really hard to go wrong there. But I decided to be a little more adventurous and I got myself some grass jelly. Now, they had a whole, like, island in the store dedicated to this drink, so I'm guessing that it's a pretty popular drink. So I was like, like again, I didn't want to just try gross things just for the sake of trying gross things, but if they have a whole island in the store dedicated to it, there's probably billions of people who think that this drink is delicious. Now, how did I manage that? Yeah. Let's roll with it. I just, I accidentally got the, uh, the cap stuck inside, but whatever. Oh. It doesn't taste like a freshly mowed lawn like I kind of figured it would, but... Hmm. I mean, it's sweet. It's got, it's definitely got some herb flavor to it, like it definitely tastes like, um, tastes almost like a tea, but it's definitely not like a black tea, maybe like a green tea. I, yeah, I think it tastes, the most similar thing I can compare to is like a green tea. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finish that off, I'm gonna finish that off with the, uh, with the white rabbit potato chips, cause yeah, it's uh... It's interesting! I, I love it! I love this video! I'm so glad I made this video, it's... I'm gonna get that again sometime! It's... It's so unique! There was a restaurant near me that specialized in bao buns, and unfortunately it closed down due to the pandemic, but I have had a chance somewhere else to taste some, and they're good. If you have never had bao buns, try them out. Now, one thing I've never had is um, bao buns with pork and oyster sauce. So I made myself a bun with some... Oh, that's a little bright. I'll figure the lighting situation out. It's a pork bun with some sushi rice. I... For the sushi rice, I used Alton Brown's recipe. I'll link that in the description. It's delicious. Uh, for pork buns, I realized after I bought it, in fact, right before making this video, I was about to heat some up. I thought you just like, I don't know, put them in the microwave or something, but no, you gotta, you gotta steam them. So um, I made a bit of a uh, contraption. I put it on a slotted spatula and just held it above the steam because hey, it works. Oh, before I say it works, let me try to see if it works. Okay, yeah, it worked. It's warm in the middle. Not, not as much filling as, as on the cover image, but yeah, I mean it's it's the cover image. It's uh, pork and oyster sauce. Mm. Okay, quite honestly, the rice is not needed. There's uh. Plenty of carbs on the bun already, but it's good. I might have to. I might have to buy myself a bamboo steamer. Let me just uh, take a sip before um, moving on to the next item, which uh, I probably will need sushi rice for because it's uh, it's known for being a little bit strong. I have um, century eggs. They uh, have a bit of a Reputation? I don't remember the reputation though. I don't remember if it's good or bad. Again, I'm not trying to just like uh, try gross things out just to be grossed out on YouTube. But I do believe that they are an acquired taste as well. 
see, it's a uh, pack of six. They really packaged them up. Is that a like... Uh, There we, oh, oh, the smell, jeez, <laughs> the smell coming off this thing already, do you gotta like, uh, crack it open, jeez, yep, yep, let's open that sucker up, oh jeez, oh no, ah! Here's the, I was gonna call it an egg white, but it's more like an egg black, and uh, here's the yolk, it, hmm, doesn't smell bad, it, it smells strong, but it doesn't smell bad. I've never had duck eggs at all. Um, I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to open it. I did look up if you're supposed to, like, um, eat these like some sort of a uh, side, or maybe, like, crumple up a little bit on top of a salad, but no, you're supposed to just... Ew, it's like jelly. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. The egg whites don't really have much of a taste at all. It's a little saltier than a regular egg white, but otherwise just pretty flavorless. The egg yolk now. Mm. 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 Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hey. Well, maybe with a bit of uh, sushi rice. Okay. Okay. I can dig that. It's like, it doesn't taste too far off from a regular egg yolk, but it's got something to it. It's got a little more depth of flavor. It's, um, I, I don't know if umami is the right word. It probably, it, I think it means something a little different, but it might be more umami. But... Yeah, um, if anyone was disgusted by them, I think they might have just eaten it wrong, because honestly, I, I don't hate it. Mm. Now, the last thing I'm going to try, which is why I'm also going to keep the sushi rice around for it, is canned eel, canned roasted eel, with fermented black beans. Now, um, eels are kind of like a slimy, gross creature, but I was thinking like, you know, I mean, if, if you if you clean it off, if you roast it, it's, it should be just like a fish. So actually, I'm not too scared of the eel itself. I'm kind of scared of the uh, fermented black beans, but yeah, the... I'll try not to think of the slimy, squirmy fish, because it might be the thing to really gross me out today. Right as I'm opening it, it's got a... It's got a strong smell. Not, not a bad smell, just a strong smell. Alright, yeah, um... It's something. It's definitely eel. Um, mm. For an eel packed in oil, it is very dry. Um, doesn't even taste that fishy. It just tastes like really dry chicken. And, um, it's got a smell to it, but it's really 
the smell is worse than, or not worse, the smell is stronger than the flavor. Hmm. Not much flavor to it. Let me try to see if I can get a bean in there. Beans are alright. In fact, after I had one, that's where the flavor is coming from. The eel really doesn't have much to it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just nothing. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, um, I guess um, my favorite thing that I tried today, probably the, either the pork bun or, or like one of the drinks, like maybe a cheer wine was pretty good. Yerba mate was pretty good. Um, pork bun is, it feels like a bit of a cop out because it's a pork bun. It's delicious, but biggest surprise by far was the century egg because I vaguely remembered watching other people eat it and I thought that it would be gross, but it looks a lot worse than it actually is. The way you eat it, I mean, just when you eat it, it's just, it's an egg with a slightly stronger eggy flavor than a plain old egg. So that's gonna wrap up my first video. I have a whole lot of food on my desk here. Um, it's around dinner time, so probably most of it's gonna be gone because uh, I'm still pretty hungry. It was just a, you know, a bit of a tasting session. Um, all of this food is so, so great. I'm so glad I did today's episode. Thanks for watching Life Labs. Social media links are in the description. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more and I hope that I inspired you to try something new today.